All right, good morning. Happy Tuesday, day two of our prayer week. Good morning, everyone. It is so good to see you logging in this morning. Uh, I, it's just such a delight for me to join you Monday through Friday for a few minutes of prayer, a few minutes of study in scripture, a few minutes of reflecting on God. Phil, good morning. Alex, good morning. Great to see you today. More importantly than me delighting in being with you this morning, the Lord delights in being with you this morning. Uh, you are the apple of his eye. You are the, the, the desire of his heart. And so he is, uh, he just loves you this morning. Hope you feel that. Hope you recognize that. Kelly, good morning. Great to see you today on this fantastic, beautiful summer day in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. If you're joining us live this morning, 8 o'clock Central Time, 6 o'clock Pacific Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, East Coast Time, uh, you have 16 hours. That's it. 16 hours to win the day. You don't have to worry about three days from now. You don't have to worry about next week. You don't have to worry about next month. Jesus said, be concerned with today. Tomorrow will take care of itself. God, God is in the tomorrow, but he's also in the today. So um, hope you're having a great morning so far. We've been talking about prayer since January 1st, focusing on kind of uh, reestablishing our prayer lives, taking our prayer lives to another level. Good morning, Cody. Great to see you this morning. It was great to meet your sister on Sunday. All right. One, one type of prayer that we exercise or use is called a prayer of declaration. A prayer of declaration is when, in the context of your, your prayer time, you say scripture, you speak scripture, you quote scripture. Maybe you read scripture, maybe you share it from memory, but it's a declaration. You are saying, yes, Lord, I believe this is true. You, 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 you. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. He was saying, that's true. I believe that. Let it be true in my life. And so a prayer of declaration does a number of things. Prayers of declaration, they, they build our faith. Because Jesus, or the scripture says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Uh, declaring the truth of scripture in prayer um, gives us a sense of our, our identity in Christ. We, we remember again who we are in Christ when we do that. And it, it's a weapon against the enemy. It's the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And when we declare the truth of scripture, it it, it destroys the attack of the enemy in our life. So we're going to continue talking about a prayer of declaration this morning. I'm going to read Micah chapter 7. I love this scripture. Verses 7 and 8. The prophet says, as for me, somebody needs to say, as for me this morning, as for me, I will watch expectantly for the Lord. I will wait for the Lord, for the God of my salvation. My God will hear. That's a prayer of declaration. My God will hear my prayer. Verse 8 do not rejoice over me, O oh my enemy. Though I fall, I will rise. That's a prayer of declaration. Though I fall, though I stumble. Maybe the enemy trips you up. Though I fall, yet I will rise. Though I dwell in darkness, the Lord is a light for me. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my deliverer. And so we're just going to make that prayer of declaration about though I, though I fall, yet I will rise. And we've been talking about things we need to rise above. We're going to look at one more thing today. Good morning, Ben. Good to see you today. One more thing we need to rise above. The prophet said, I will rise. I will rise up. I will rise from. I will rise above. I won't be held down by the power of this thing. We're going to make that declaration this morning with this. I will rise above despair. I will rise above despair. What is despair? Who knows what despair is this morning? Despair is the feeling of hopelessness. It's losing all hope. Despair is the feeling that nothing will ever change or can change. That's despair. It's a feeling that nothing's going to change or nothing can change. Despair is the feeling of being stuck. Who's stuck this morning? There's a number of, of things we feel stuck in. You can feel stuck in grief stuck in sorrow. You can feel stuck in anger, stuck in bitterness. You can feel stuck in shame. We talked about that yesterday. Stuck in shame, stuck in guilt. You can feel stuck in addiction, stuck in bondage to sin. You can feel stuck in fear. You can feel stuck in anxiety. You can feel stuck in depression. You can feel stuck in poverty. You can feel stuck in resentment. 
and unforgiveness. You can feel, you might be stuck in a toxic relationship. You can be stuck in a dead end job. You can be stuck in poverty. You can be stuck in lust and pornography. You can be stuck in sexual sin or loneliness. Despair is the fear that your reality will never change. It's the fear that your reality will never change. We have to believe two things to overcome despair. Number one, God will either change my circumstances. God is able to do that, but God, he'll either change my circumstances or he'll change me. He's not going to leave me stuck. He's either going to change my circumstances or give me the power to endure or overcome my circumstances. Let's look at some scriptures. Psalm 18, verses 2 through 6. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. He's the one who takes me out of, delivers me from, causes me to rise above. My God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Listen, I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved or delivered from my enemies. The Lord's a deliverer. He's a savior. He pulls us out. The, the cords of death encompassed me. The torrents of ungodliness terrified me. The cords of Sheol, hell, the underworld, surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to, the, to my God for help. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry for help came before him into his ears. The Lord is my deliverer. Then, Skipping down in that same psalm to verses 16 and 17, he sent from on high and he took me. He rescued me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. He's talking about the, the, the cords of death encompassed me. The, the cords of Sheol surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. But in my distress, I called on the Lord and the Lord delivered me. See, he, he, may, he can either take you out of it, change your circumstances, or change you. All right? How about, how about Jeremiah 32, 17? The prophet says, Ah, Lord God, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm, and nothing is too difficult for you. Hear what the prophet said, Jeremiah 32, 17? Nothing's too hard for you. Nothing's too difficult. You are able to get me unstuck. You are able to deliver me from despair, from the feeling of hopelessness, the feeling that my life won't change, the feeling that, that I'm stuck here forever. All right, that's, that's despair. How about, how about Philippians 1.6? Paul says, I'm confident that my God shall... I'm sorry, I'm confident that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God's working in you. God's changing you. God's, God's altering your perspective. God's giving you strength and power to push through whatever you're in today. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. You're not stuck, friend. The Lord is releasing you. The Lord is delivering you. The, the Lord is sustaining you, getting you through it. Come on. He's either going to change your circumstance or he's going to change you, but he's not going to leave you stuck. And some of you are caught in despair. You're stuck this morning. How about 2 Corinthians 9, 8? God is able. Somebody just shout this morning, God is able. God is able to make all grace abound to you so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance of every good work. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in everything for, for your generosity. God blesses us, man. Come on. All right. Do we have any more scriptures? No, that's it this morning. All right. So we're going to pray some prayers of declaration this morning. Some of you, man, you're stuck. Maybe you're hopeless this morning. Maybe you're feeling like you're never going to get out of this. I promise God is able. God is able to either deliver you from the circumstances or change you in the midst of them. But you're going to get through this. You're going to get unstuck today. All right? You don't need to live in despair. There is hope in Christ this morning. No matter what you feel stuck in, God is our deliverer. Amen? All right, let's pray this morning. Lord, we declare nothing is impossible. Nothing is too difficult 
for you. We agree this morning with Jeremiah 32, 17. You've made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for you. You can get us unstuck. You can give us hope. You can give us the belief and the understanding that you're changing us or you're changing our circumstance. Well, I declare this morning, God is delivering me from helplessness and despair. God is changing my perspective. God is helping me to see I'm not stuck. God is helping me to see he's changing my circumstances or he's changing me today. Thank you this morning, Lord. I declare I am being delivered today by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare God is able to make all grace abound in my life. Friends, just take a moment to declare that. I declare God is able to make all grace abound in my life. I declare this morning by the power of the Holy Spirit, I am not without hope. I am not without hope that either I can change, my children can change, my spouse can change, my friends can change, my family can change. I am not without hope this morning because God is able to give all grace for every circumstance. I'm not without hope. I declare this morning, friends declare with me right now, I declare this morning, I'm not stuck. I'm not under the power of despair. I'm not under the power of hopelessness. I'm not under the power of something that is greater than the power of God. Nothing is too hard for God. He who began a good work in me is bringing it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. You're changing my circumstances. You're changing my heart. You're unsticking me when I feel stuck. Thank you this morning, Lord. You are my deliverer, my savior. I worship you and praise you in Jesus' name. Everybody said, come on, come on. I, I know the feeling, friends. You feel stuck. I know the feeling. You feel hopeless. I, I know the feeling of despair, but God is greater this morning. God is greater than your despair. God is greater than your hopelessness. And he is working right now in your life to get you unstuck. I, I read a bunch of things, man. You might be stuck in, 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 a, in pornography or lust or sexual sin or loneliness or uh, anger, bitterness, grief, sorrow, shame, guilt, addiction, bondage, fear, anxiety. It doesn't matter what it is. The Lord is bringing release in your life by the power of the Spirit. What a great Tuesday. Day two. You're already winning the day. Have a great Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow morning.